Hello YouTube, it's Bob back in with another unboxing for you and it's this, the Dash Crab FX an in-car mount that uh, will stick pretty much anywhere it doesn't have to be on the glass, it can be on your dashboard as well and I'll let you just quickly freeze it there then you can grab that uh, QR code and anyway, so as you can see it's called the Dash Crab FX uh, very plain and simple packaging tells you there up to six inches wide and you can see it's got this sort of flipping action on the bottom part of the jaw there that helps you to push it in and if we look on the box at the back we can see various devices there being held in it in different positions so let's have a look it's all very simple I've actually been using this so um, I've been getting a little bit sort of vibration showing through it which uh, basically it's, it's, it's not as steady as my last one was but uh, I'm happy enough to use it, it does the job for me. Not a big lover of this kind of packaging, it's not always recyclable, it depends on where you come from, what region you live in. So that's it, that's all your packaging. So as you can see you've got that bit there, that just freeze that up so you can swivel it all around that's your sticky pad with a cover on it and that blocks it down so it's as straightforward as that so let's have a look now you can see how wide that opens <laughs> it's, uh, it's got pretty big uh, jaws on it kind of reminds me of uh, the Queen Alien's head actually so anyway let's uh, I'm just, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to pull this cover back on here so that we've got a smooth surface and it doesn't have to be smooth because I've had this on the dashboard of my car which of course is a little bit uh, stippled now if we peel this off you can see what it actually is, it's one of those sticky gel ones and once it gets uh, all sort of fluffed up and what have you and becomes no longer as tacky it's one of them you just run it under the tap and it clears it off basically but yeah it is quite uh, tacky but it doesn't leave any residues at all um, all the places I've had it in my car left absolutely zero marks so you know that part of it's quite impressive but anyway if I just put that down there for you now and press that that <coughs> is rock solid absolutely rock solid it's going nowhere so if I just tighten that up there and then what I'll do is I will show you now this is the the big uh, boy Lumia that I've been uh, playing around with lately and if we put that in there you can so you, you see you can go in like that now what I've found on the Lumia here is the only gap we've got big enough to get it in is in between these two buttons here because of the width of this jaw so if I just pop that in there and this is supposed to give you a one-handed action now in the car of course it's a bit easier and it does give you a one-handed action but it's not quite so one-handed on a bigger device like this and you can see the sort of problem I've been having in the car you see there's still a bit of flex in this top bit here I mean this is rock solid it's going nowhere but I'm still getting some flex here and of course this device being a little bit it's in having to be in lopsided and that's what's giving it the problems I think it was even slipping over slightly in the jaws like that in the car so you know on the bigger devices yes it's going to hold them but uh, it's the fact that this is still so flexible that uh, sort of you know it, it, it loses marks in my opinion for that and you can see where the flex is it's actually in this bit here when I'm bending at it like that and there's a slight amount of rock in that but it's not actually the pad giving it's just the fact that it's <sighs> there's obviously some movement in there in the build quality of it the way it's built but that said it's very multi-positional uh, I have seen videos where basically people have even put a cup in there <laughs> So you could use it as a cup holder as well. Um, but if we just put that 
that there and I'll slide my iPhone into it now uh, and with this of course you just straight in like that and there and then obviously that's still a little bit on the slack side there but as you can see I'm still getting so that was why uh, I'll leave the uh, link to my vlog below that was why you could see some vibration in it and the roads around here aren't exactly perfect once you get out onto the big smooth roads absolutely fine so yeah I mean you know it, it is nice um, 20 pounds maybe not quite worth that 20 pound um, there's probably better ones out there for that money indeed the last one I bought was actually only about 13 pound and I mean it, it lasted a good time um, but it was definitely more rigid than this one so you know it's there for you to make your own choices at the end of the day guys so uh, there you go that is the uh, Dash Crab FX so thanks for watching please give me a thumbs up and leave your comments below guys okay cheers see you later guys